And we begin tonight with 7 Action News reporter Heather Catalo. She is live with those new guidelines sent to schools and what districts will have to do. Heather? Well, this is the document that was sent to all the districts today, telling them they have until April 8th to come up with a plan of how they're going to continue to instruct students. It became very clear that we needed to pull our kids out of school. Students in Michigan have to study in place for the remainder of the school year. To fight the spread of the coronavirus, Governor Gretchen Whitmer canceled classes for all Michigan students this year. And she's leaving it up to individual school districts to decide how they're going to keep teaching from afar. Some kids will be able to have some online opportunities. Others will take home uh, paper packets. There's not a one size fits all for something as complicated as educating 1.5 million Michigan kids. The Michigan Department of Education sent this guide for distance learning to the districts Friday. It asked them to keep students at the center of the plan, design the learning for equity and access, and assess student learning by monitoring what they're working on and engaging families. Detroit Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vidi sent out this letter today telling students their instruction will start on April 14th after spring break. Dr. Vidi says DPS teachers will reach out online and on the phone to check on student progress. He also says at some point in May, the district plans to get tablets and internet access to families who need them. Novi schools also sent out this letter saying phase two of their continuity of learning starts on April 20th. The next stage in that district will increase online activity and expectations for students. All districts have to have their plans up and running by April 28th. Reporting live, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. All right, Heather, thank you.